In our glasses, we have our Malinu straw wine from our signature range. This is one of our most highly acclaimed wines, having received five stars in the Platter's Guide almost every single vintage, as well as Sweet Wine of the Year numerous times and up to 99 points internationally. It's a wine that really shows off the wonderful diversity and adaptability of, of the Chenin Blanc grape, which is a grape that can make styles of wine from, from sweet down to dry, sparkling wines, even, uh, even fortified wines as well. Um, and, but it's really a, a grape that does extremely well with, with uh, sweet wines because of its naturally high acidity. Um, straw wine is a very special style of wine. It's a style that's really well adapted to the Swatland region. Um, and it's a style where we, we are able to make wine that has quite a bit of sugar, but with a lot of acidity. So for us, it's therefore important that we use grapes with the most acidity. Uh, and for us, those are our vineyards that are on the granitic soils of the Partiburg. And we harvest uh, Shannon at, at normal ripeness level, so it's not a, not a late harvest. So it's the grapes picked on the same day as we do for our dry wines. Uh, and then we dry the grapes outdoors uh, in the shade for a few weeks. And in that time, the moisture evaporates off the grapes, concentrating the flavor, the sugar, but most importantly, also the acidity in the, in the fruit, so that you keep this wonderful natural balance in the wine. So after the natural desiccation process of, the, of drying the grapes, uh, we bring it to the winery. It takes two days to process. The, the crushing process and the pressing process is very slow because the grapes are very dry. So therefore, everything is dripping out like honey. Um, there's no instant gratification in winemaking. This wine is the definition of that because once it goes to barrel, it's about 10 months to finish fermenting naturally. But in that time, you're just creating lots and lots of layers of flavors. Everything that takes long and slow to process will just give you so much more satisfaction at the end. And every year, this wine is an amazing balance of sugar, acid, and alcohol it usually only reaches about 8% alcohol and the sugar and acid are always in balance with that uh, relative to the vineyard. So on the nose you're going to pick up a hell of a lot of complexity uh, with that long slow fermentation and, and old vines you, you're going to get a lot of complexity. So on the nose there's a, a citrus note but it's, it's more uh, sort of marmalade sort of that citrus rind character. There's dried fruit, dried apricots, uh, peaches on the nose. There's a wonderful nutty almond marzipan note. The palate is full. It's obviously a sweet wine, so it's, it's going to be full and sweet on the palate. But the real secret about this wine that makes it so popular is this incredible acidity that runs straight through the wine. So after you've tasted the wine and swallowed it, it's dry, you're, 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 it's not cloying, it's not heavy. So it, it has a wonderful balance to it that makes it really versatile with different kinds of uh, desserts if you want to pair it. So anything with fruit, tart tartin, uh, poached pears do extremely well. Anything with nuts uh, or blue cheeses, it's, it's pretty, pretty versatile with many types of, uh, of dessert. So if you want to taste a little bit of sunshine in the glass, something sweet, something balanced, try our Melanie straw wine. Cheers.